What's up everyone? Today, I will be going over three different Russian dances. Before you watch this tutorial, make sure to check out this one on the screen. This one goes over the basics of the standard Russian squat kicks, which is what we will be building off of today. So I recommend watching this tutorial once you have a general understanding of the standard Russian kicks or Prisyadka. Like I said, this tutorial will be building off of the standard kicks. I will start by going over some standard kicks, but what we will be doing differently is taking your heels off the ground as well as straightening your legs. Now, there are two ways to go about this. The first one is what I would personally use to improve, but the second one may work better for some people. The first technique is based on jumping from one leg to the other. Now, if you have sore or weak calves, I recommend doing technique number two. For all these dances, you want to be wearing comfortable shoes as well as clothing that you can move in easily and comfortably. To start off technique number one, you want to squat down and extend one leg completely straight. Do not let your heel touch the ground. You want to sit on your other leg while squat for a couple of seconds and then repeat. Do this until you are comfortable holding this position. Next, you want to jump from one leg to the other while alternating extended legs. Yes, this is technically standard kicks, but you want to do this slowly and one at a time. Do you note that it is very uncomfortable to do this slowly, for it pushes a lot of pressure on your calves, and it can be very easy for you to lose your balance too. I recommend using your hands to stabilize yourself when you do this. Once you are somewhat comfortable with this, start doing it quicker. If you are unable to straighten your legs each time, I recommend trying harder as well as straightening your legs as much as possible. Learning to Russian dance with straight legs each time can be very difficult, so you want to make sure that you practice a lot. Although it may be a bit uncomfortable, it is essential to master this technique early on. And that is one way you can do it. Of course, you have to work on balance and making sure you're kicking at the right rhythm, but these are things that can be accomplished by just practicing a lot. The second technique is a bit different. Instead of going slow, which is usually painful, you are meant to go full speed while learning to take your heels off the ground and have straight legs. Do note that this will require more practice than technique number one, however, it will most likely be less stressful on your legs. To do this technique, you want to do the same standard kicks with your heels on the ground. However, you want to start not letting your heels of your kicking feet touch the ground. Do this by not putting any weight on your leg that kicks out, instead keep all of your weight on the foot that you are squatted on. Now, do these standard kicks, but make sure that the heel of your kicking feet does not touch the ground. At first, your legs won't be anywhere near straight, but that is okay. Right now, you're working on standard kicks without heels on the ground. I found that it is easier to do this technique by kicking at a faster pace than usual. If you do this, do it only until you have learned how to take your heels off the ground. Once this is learned, practice at a normal pace. Oh, and a normal pace should be around 130-ish beats per minute at a 2-4 time signature. I have linked a metronome of this beat in the description. Once you can do standard kicks easily without your heels on the ground, start extending your legs more and more with each kick. While the strategy is easier than the first one, it is definitely more time consuming. You will have to practice a lot. Eventually, if you keep extending your legs more and more, you'll be able to straighten your legs with each kick, like this. And with that, you should be able to do standard kicks, but with straight legs. There's a lot more in improving the stance, we'll take a look at that another time. For now, let's move on to side kicks. A very important yet underutilized Russian dance technique are side kicks. There are two variants, one that has your legs kick out about 45 degrees from the front, and one which has your legs kick about 90 degrees from the front. I'll be going over the 45 degree one first, but before you do that, I highly recommend stretching. Of course, you should stretch before doing any type of Russian dance, but this is especially important with side kicks. I suggest starting these the same way you start at standard kicks. Extend your legs out at about a 45 degree angle and put your heels on the ground. Make sure your legs are straight. Now, quickly jump from one leg to the other. This is to be done the same way you did standard kicks, but do this out to the side this time. Once you are comfortable with switching quickly, speed it up. Eventually, you want to go full speed. It may be weird and difficult to do this at first, so I recommend spending a lot of time on the previous stage, making sure you are comfortable holding this position. An alternate way of doing this dance is by kicking your feet in the air without putting your heels on the ground. This is kind of like what I went over earlier, only this time it is not required to keep your legs straight. To do this, simply do side kicks at 45 degrees, but don't straighten your legs or put your heels on the ground, like this. This is not only very tricky, but for me personally, it is the most painful Russian dance to do. Well, the second most painful. To make this dance easier, I recommend a lot of stretching and practice. Strengthening your calves will also help you a lot. Remember to not overstress your legs. 
Doing the stance quickly will also help as doing it slowly is very difficult. I recommend doing kicks with your heels on the ground first and gradually bringing them off the ground. This is the same strategy as technique number two that I went over earlier. And with that, you should be golden. If you are having difficulty with these kicks, I suggest watching my tutorial on a similar dance. It's easier and learning it may help you with these kicks. These next side kicks are one of my favorites. To learn them, do exactly what we did previously and put your leg out to the side like this. Your leg should be about 90 degrees from the front of your body. If you can't do this, put your leg out as far as possible. Over time, you can stretch and move your legs closer to 90 degrees. Also, make sure you keep your heel on the ground and your toes pointed upwards. You will not be taking your heels off the ground for these kicks. Once you are comfortable holding this position, start quickly switching your legs. Make sure to practice maintaining balance as it is very easy to lose your balance. Doing these kicks may be very awkward, so I recommend spending a lot of time on the first two steps. When you are very comfortable holding this position as well as quickly switching, you are ready to try at full speed. You will probably lose your balance the first couple times, so be prepared for that. Eventually, you should be able to go full speed, like this. And that concludes today's tutorial. I recommend learning one dance at a time so that you don't confuse yourself by trying to learn all of these dances at once. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and be on the lookout for more tutorials later this month.